YouTube. It's been a week since I filmed that last clip. I just wanted to get a bunch of videos of my week, kind of. Weeks. It's probably gonna be more than one week because not that much went on this week. And make it into like a weekly vlog with the holiday season coming up. There should be more opportunities for me to vlog. Because I mean, I will be honest, during the week I just go to work and come home. I don't really do that much fun stuff. I mean, this week I did go zip lining. Could have recorded for that, but one, let me tell you, that was an experience. It was kind of scary just um, because this zip lining course was not like the courses or like adventure parks in America where there's a person at every station to hook you up. You had to know how to hook yourself up. And like, I was really nervous because I'm like, if you don't clip the thing on 100%, like the two safeties and then like the line, you could fall. Which I mean, it was not that hard after you got the hang of it, but still. I could see how someone could easily make the mistake of forgetting to put the clip on the zip line thing. And literally but um other than that it was very fun so i'm getting ready right now for a birthday dinner for my friend i was also going to come on here to talk about um an update just on my life and social media i've decided i want to take social media more seriously because there was a point in my life where if i would have taken it seriously when I was getting so many views on Instagram and TikTok, I literally could be a millionaire right now. It's never too late to start over. I really want, oh. I really want to post more and be more active on my YouTube channel because I'm not as active as I would want to, but I feel like I have a lot of ideas of videos i want to record but just finding the motivation to record them is really hard and i'm trying to really get over that and have more self-discipline about posting the stuff that i want to now the cat is trying to come back in i'm also been reaching out to brands and stuff trying to get sponsorships but i'm gonna be honest i haven't had that much luck and i think it's because i just need to post more and put myself out there more they were responding back to me Ooh, i look orange and now it just feels like the opposite everyone i message is just like sorry we're not looking to work with anyone new right now this literally like it got like the same message from so many different brands and it's like so discouraging i really want to be like a full-time creator by the time we move back to America, my car here was really cheap. It's like going back to the States, I'm going to have to buy a reliable car. And that's not going to be cheap. And just, I feel like finding a job in the States that will actually be fulfilling. Because I don't care what anybody says. Like, I, I'm not the person I really don't want to be depressed with working a job that I'm gonna hate. So I feel like I have an opportunity now to put myself ahead, you know, before we move back. If you guys wanna support me in my journey to becoming a full-time content creator, YouTuber, Instagram, or TikToker, then you can follow all of my social medias and watch my videos. People just don't really like my stuff which is kind of frustrating because I do put time into it. Also, like, the videos I just posted and edited, it did take me, like, hours to edit it. But that's with anything, like, any hobby, any job, anything you actually really want to put effort into is going to take time, and I know that. So I'm just, like, uh... Most of my followers are from that time period, and I don't think they really like the content that I post nowadays, or I feel like it's going to be following, like, looking for my school and just, like... I don't know, people don't really want to support. Because, like, a lot of people on my story, and, like, stuff like that, people aren't, like, liking the posts, or, like, you just, like, they don't care, like, why they follow me, so, like, why they watch my story, not clicking and liking the content and stuff. Those people don't have to care, I don't think they don't have to care, but still, I'll try to do this, right? So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now, I feel. So, we're gonna try out this weekly... 
I'm not gonna say weekly vlog because it's not gonna be like one a week into a vlog because my life is not that interesting which I mean I'm in control of that but still like the people who do vlogs of their life and like they do a whole bunch of stuff they have money okay and I'm not saying I'm broke but I have a job so obviously I can't go out in the middle of the day and do like crazy stuff I don't hate my current job but like it's one of those things where it's just it's not your passion so you don't want to do it like it was a good job for when I first moved here and I needed money and just be self-sufficient like an update on my life and our life here because I haven't really like had a video where I just sit down and like talk uh I guess I should just talk about what it's like to live here the culture is different in some aspects I have to hurry up because we only got an hour before we're supposed to be there the there's like two cultural different kind of cultural uh thingy my biggie my bobbies so on base it literally is like america here like we have harley's we have Taco Bell, Burger King, Arby's, Popeyes, like American food places on our base. No, just on base is just very like American. Like, and keep in mind that we don't live in mainland Japan. We live on an island. So kind of like how Hawaii is America to America, but Hawaii has cultural differences than America. It's like similar. I guess since I'm used to it now, it doesn't feel that much like oh my god she literally lives in a different country where they speak a different language um here a lot of people speak english just because since there's a lot of americans you know um the okinawans here learn english because a lot of okinawan people japanese people work on our base and a lot of you know businesses here want to thrive so they, they speak English because they get a lot of American customers. So there's that. The food, I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. Um, if you're a picky eater, well, I thought I was a picky eater, but I actually like a lot of stuff here. I just don't eat seafood. So, did I wanna put blush on? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. A lot of people, what was I saying? Oh, the food here is good. Like, shopping. The only thing I would say I really miss is, like, Walmart, Target, Ross, Five Below, Marshalls. I do miss those because, um, there's just not a lot of options for clothes. Ordering clothes takes a long time here. Sometimes my stuff will come in, like, two weeks. And then other times it'll take two months. The selections in the mall, not that good. I wouldn't say not that good, but you know, like Japanese fashion, Asian fashion is really different than American fashion. It's more modest. Um, and then their sizes are really way smaller. Which it doesn't really affect me that bad since I wear a size American small, but it's not the best like size inclusive for people bigger than a large. I would say. I was nervous about driving when I first moved here. I thought that was like literally going to be the end of me. But learning to drive on the other side is you just get used to it. And then like when we went back and visited family, it felt weird. Like it felt like, oh my gosh, America is weird. Why are they driving on this side? Because I got so used to it. Also, the roads here are really tiny. The cars here are really tiny. I would say one of the things that i love about here is that it's really close to well japan is like one of the places you go to to travel like what would you call that like a, a travel hot spot to connect to other countries you just can't get anywhere from here like it's super close to everything when we went to thailand it was only like a five hour flight from uh tokyo Oh, we didn't go from Tokyo. A five hour flight from Fukuoka. There's a lot of countries here that are close by, like Korea is only 
a two hour flight. Taiwan is only a two hour flight. This is the fit. The lighting is bad, but we're running late. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. In the thrift store. Oh my goodness, look, a folding trampoline. We don't need that. They have some cool stuff here. <laughs> Assistant. This jacket is really cool. I tried it on, but I'm not gonna get it. Thank you.